Hello, internet denizens. Well, I'm still in my pajamas. It's noon as of this recording. Um, I had computer incidents and, you know, when you put the bit in your mouth and you can't stop chewing on it, <clears throat> well, you just got to keep on going. So yesterday, well, I'm doing this actually in the raw because... I just wanted to record it as I was thinking about it and not trying to turn this into anything fancy because this was not a fancy situation. Both my M1 MacBook Pro and my big Hackintosh went south yesterday. So uh, it was a bit of a shit show and I've only finally recovered everything and got everything working now. But I thought I'd share with you because that's the favorite thing um, I do. Every time I talk about Hackintoshing, I tell everyone this is not for the faint of heart. Um, and I'm recording this right now on my MacBook Pro. The resolution is going to be low. I'm not green screening or anything. This is just the raw, unadulterated story of how I got into this mess and how I got out of it. First of all, irony of ironies, my M1 MacBook Pro, I tried to upgrade it to Big Sur 11.1, the latest release of the OS, and it just, uh, well, it didn't brick, but uh, it I couldn't do anything. And several phone calls to Apple later, uh, I, I essentially had to wipe the drive completely clean and do a straight-up recovery, which is always a drag because you're reinstalling all sorts of things, and, and in this day and age, getting the interoperability between your Google apps and your Apple applications and you're pulling out your phone and, and putting in little codes in it that, bing, you know, check the code on your phone and then put that in and then touch this and touch that and then it's connected and then, oh, you got to connect it to your calendar and, oh, viscosity, uh, you got to, uh, you'd have to get your serial number again and reconnect and blah, blah, blah. So it's just, it's a real pain and a mess and it takes way longer than, you know, anybody wants. Plus you're reinstalling applications but uh, my M1 um, go, it is now back up and running, as you can see. And then right after that, I made a huge mistake. I downloaded Big Sur 11.1 on my uh, Intel i7-10700 with Radeon 7 Hackintosh. Uh, the intention was to... Uh, was to just put it aside, uh, upload uh, the Kex or update the Kexts, uh, make sure that uh, Open Core um, 6.3, uh, 0.6.3 was still okay, that I didn't have to update to uh, 6.4. Uh, but I never got a chance to do that. I accidentally uh, clicked on the update button again when I couldn't find where the installer was. Of course, it was in, it was in the application folder, but I missed it and I didn't think that it got downloaded. So I hit the installer uh, and uh, my Hackintosh blew up. Uh, the other things that were really problematic, Super Duper, which is what I've been using to do a, a backup. Oh, where's, where, where is it? I do my, my backup every single time uh, to this drive of the OS in case I have to boot from it. I also do a, um, you know, the, the, oh, what the hell is the name of a time machine backup also. So I'm, I'm covered in all ways, but there were some new issues here. Super Duper wouldn't, does not work on Big Sur anymore. So I was on 11.0.1 and I tried to get Super Duper working. It, it didn't. Uh, and in the process, I wiped this drive clean. So I didn't have a simple way of rebooting to an OS that worked after it, it borfed. Um, of course, I have all the little uh, dongly thingies and stuff like that prepared. I'm, I, I know what I'm doing. Oh, shut up. I'm talking. That wasn't a problem. I Then I stripped out all the drives and I was just... You know, I, I thought, okay, I'm going to put this on my NVMe, uh, put in 
time machine, uh, booted it up with this, uh, and it wouldn't le let me reformat the internal main NVMe drive. Uh, Big Sur does some real weird hardcore stuff. And um, yes, go away. I don't want this anymore. Uh, Big Sur does some weird hardcore stuff and would not let me format the NVMe at all. So I had to resort to terminal. So I booted up uh, in recovery mode, erased the NVMe using terminal, and then started up Time Machine, uh, got all that started, and then the backup hung. It wouldn't work. It threw an error. Uh, where is that error? Oh, come on, stop it. I'm going to move my screen here. So I got this uh, authorization plugin error from TeamViewer. So uh, what happened was the TeamViewer install did not work entirely from the backup. And I ended up having this TeamViewer authorization error. And then I went on the magic Google circus of searching to try to find what that was about. Google is your, your friend. But it was very frustrating. And I found one website that showed me manually how I could delete some of the assets in the uh, library folder uh, that was created. Of course, I had the only way I could gain access to the NVMe was to pull it out. And I have one of these little, little drives here that I stick my NVMe in, stick this in the computer. And so I could manually take them apart. Again, you have to have all this gear when you're Hackintoshing. Like I always say, Hackintoshing is not for the faint of heart. Um, and I got the bad, bad files out of it, started it again, got a slightly different error, but didn't include team viewer. Then I realized through more research, I had to remove a hidden, uh, database file. What was, what was that called there? Yes. The, the author.db it's in volume variables db slash author db. So I had to use an rm command and get rid of, of that file. And after I did that, the install worked. So this is a very interesting problem for any application that has not been properly deauthorized. Of course, going to the TeamViewer website, they said, well, just start up TeamViewer and there's a deauthorization. Uh, option in one of the menus. Well, that does not help you if you cannot install it on your boot drive. That it, it makes uh, it's not helpful installing it on another drive. You have to install it on your boot drive um, and go through that process. But in this particular case, I couldn't. So it broke. Team Viewer, the install had broke between 11.01 .01 and 11.1. .1. That took an awful lot of work, but I've got everything up and running. I actually did not take a chance. I installed from a, my uh, backup that went back to um, Catalina, did a super duper backup, which worked in Catalina, just in case. And then I went directly from uh, Catalina to 11.1. .1. So that was my journey. I thought maybe you would all be interested in this because sometimes you are and and you should know it's not all fluffy rabbits and eels well, eels are not not very fluffy that this was more like eels yes yeah and and when you're you know crazy about this stuff you you work way too late and then you dream about it which i did <laughs> i couldn't stop dreaming about how am I going to do this? Am I going to create a brand new uh, install and then wipe everything out yet again uh, and then do a, um, a, a time machine recovery, which never really seems to work particularly well on a Hackintosh. Uh, so I've already have everything recovered um, if I could just fix this security problem. But this does not bode well for any kind of application that requires authentication. 
Uh, what if they break during some kind of backup or some similar situation? Yeah, problematic. And the new things that Big Sur introduces that makes it more difficult, like not being able to erase your boot drive using disk utilities, that, that was... That was weird. Anyways, thank you very much, Denizens, for listening to my rambling. I, you know, obviously, if you enjoyed this and this was useful, please uh, send me a comment. I love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.